Hello, this is Wicked Shrapnel, and I'm going to show you the easy way to beat Curtis End on hard. And I say that with a grain of salt because even though this is the easiest way, it is still pretty difficult. You're going to need to be 32. Most people need to be 32, but uh, some 31s could possibly be in there. And this is not my method. This is a uh, Hunter Killer and Play for the Win Gaming Clans method, which they were nice enough to invite me and show me how to beat this raid. So basically, you start it up, you kill all the things, and I would recommend using a Suros Regime, Re Suros Regime, or a Red Death to regen your health, or use perks on your character that can regen your health, because there is no chalice and you cannot regen your health. And you clear everything out, and then you run around out the outside, everyone tries to stay together, you get out to the middle, and you kill the sword bearer. You get the sword. And it's best if a hunter with Blade Dancer uses the sword. You take Crota down, and everyone should be using rockets, as many Galahorns as you can possibly get. And then when you take him down the second time, you go over here and you dark corner McDougal on the left because Crota is going to run to the right, and you stay here for what seems like forever until Crota goes back to the middle. At that point, everyone goes back to the middle, right outside the glass, and takes down the sword bearer again. Get the sword, and then you're going to down Crota one more time, and as soon as he's down, while he's still down, everyone runs into this little area over to the right, and hop up above the doors that I will show you in just one moment here. Try to avoid all the boomer blasts, and hop up on this little ledge and then you can hop up above the door and that's what I have to do for a hunter and then the ogres come out you blast the ogres with heavy or quick scope them I prefer to quick scope them with the black hammer and then you will see the other ogre will be out in the middle and blast him with all you got you gotta kill both of the ogres and then quick scope them right in the face <laughs> and pick up any uh, ammo that you got in here blah 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 and then we're all going to run back inside try to avoid boomer blast hop skip and jump kill any thralls that may be spawning in here and then we're it's just another waiting game you wait for Crota to go over to the right and then you just wait inside until he goes back to the middle and then when he goes back into the middle, you repeat it again. And we're almost there. You, everyone goes back out into the ledge to the middle. You down the sword bear. And then you start shooting Krota. You down Krota. And also another tip that I didn't mention is with the blade dancer. When you hit him with the sword, you drop the sword with Y or triangle. Um, and then you melee him to go invisible. Make sure you got that perk on. And then pick up the sword. And the boomers aren't going to shoot at you as long as you're invisible. You go invisible by crouching before you jump up there. And that's pretty much it. And then when he goes enraged, you have to make sure that everyone, don't worry about the oversoul. Just keep shooting uh, Crota until he is down again and then finish him off. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So I'll show you the stuff that I got. I didn't get the greatest drops. On my first run through, I got the Glow Who shader, which is pretty cool. I like it. But I got another helmet. This was like my fifth helmet that I'd got. And it's not, I, I prefer to have intellect, so I just dismantled that helmet. But the shader does look pretty damn cool, if I must say so myself. <laughs> and here's the team that first helped me beat it. Thank you, Play for the Win Gaming. And we even had a 31 in that. And then I'll just show you some uh, other downings of Crota just to show you some of the drops. And it was enraged, unload on them. And I was using, what was I using? I don't have the Hunger of Crota, I don't have the Galhorn. This is the big one. I got the Fang of Ear Yut. So that is supposed to be one of the best weapons that you can get from Crota. So pretty happy about that that's pretty much that and the glow who is the only thing that I'm really happy about getting <laughs> and then I got the glow who again and the helmet again which made it my sixth helmet <laughs> oh my god I don't the random number generator really likes giving me helmets and 
it was pretty much the same as what I got, so I just dismantled it. I got some more shards. So that's pretty much it. And that is how you beat Crotazan on hard in a nutshell. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. And thanks to everyone who helped me beat Crota's ass. I appreciate it. Also, we had Sarah and Jason and H Bucket helped me out in some of those subsequent downings of Crota. So that's all I got for this video. Quick, easy. That's about as easy as it gets, even though it's never really easy. Because if you mess up any part of that or someone dies, you pretty much wipe, start over. That's all I got. Talk to you later. Take it easy.